what are runes? Now runes take up half of the game's title. They are vital to all life on Gilenor, and they are an ever-growing topic of contention, with people unable to gather enough of their own. So where do we start with this tale of runes? As with any good tale, we're going to head back right to the start. And as with so much of RuneScape's history, Guffix played a large part in this initial formation of runes. He created rune stones with the power of the Stone of Jazz, and these stones allowed sentient races to practice the magical arts and advance their society in ways that would otherwise be impossible. As humans became more fluent in the arts and magic, the rune stones provided by Guffix started to dwindle and this became a source of contention, with fights being required to take ownership of the few remaining stones. This limited source of stones was brought to a halt by V. He discovered the location of the Stone of Jazz. He was unable to use the stone itself, but found out that the rocks surrounding the stone had been able to absorb magical elements. These rocks are what we now know as Rune Essence. V and his followers set about dedicating special areas across the land, where a particular magical element was most present. These were each held in their own pocket dimension, and each of the areas was linked to a specific magical element, and this became the rune altars that we know today. V's creation of these altars to create new runes sparked controversy among the Fremedic. Many of them believed that only Guthics should be the one to form the runes. They were given by the gods initially. Why should we as humans be able to create our own? This led to V fleeing to the Lunar Isles and taking the knowledge of these altars with him and his clan. We jump forward to the Fourth Age, and the god-given runes had been almost fully depleted, not helped out by the struggle of the God Wars. This led to a huge downfall of magic, and humans started to lose the knowledge needed to produce even the simplest of spells. All could have been lost when it came to runes, if it weren't for the discovery of a rune essence mine hidden in the frozen north of Gilinor. This discovery completely reinvigorated humans and their magical prowess. Soon after the mine was discovered, the location of the rune altars started to be uncovered. With the mine being in such an inaccessible place as the frozen north, the wizards needed to create a method of teleportation to allow for easy formation of runes. This shared goal led to the formation of the wizard's tower, they discovered the power of the abyss, allowing immediate teleportation across the world to all of these different altars that had been set up by V. And this discovery, for a series of power-hungry individuals, actually led to the destruction of the initial wizard's tower. Following the destruction, we have our replacement tower, which still stands to this day. And initially, only Sarodominists were taught the teleportation methods to access the Essence Mine leading to them having a massive monopoly of the market. And that pretty much brings us to today, apart from one side of it, and that is the Runespan. What is it? Why does it exist? Now the Runespan was set up because Wizard Phoenix believed you should be able to siphon the energy around the altars that have been created and make runes purely from this energy, transforming that energy into a physical rune. He attempted it on Gilinor, but failed, however, he was able to, with the help of Wizard Elris, access the rune span, and in there, set up and create runes. Unfortunately, he didn't have any method of being able to bring them back into Gilinor's realm, but it proved his theory correct. In time, maybe that will become something present on Gilinor itself.